The game of rugby is almost as much brains as it is brawn. Here's what I mean. The Six Nations Championship, a rugby tradition with roots more than 140 years old, kicks off this week with England, Ireland, Scotland, Wales, France, and Italy battling it out. But rugby as a sport is undergoing a fascinating transformation. For decades, the game focused on players getting bigger and stronger. This chart shows how the average weight of Six Nations players rose from 186 pounds in 1955 to 232 pounds by 2015, a 24% increase. And no, that doesn't mean they're getting lazy. These players still cover over 6,000 meters or 4 miles per game, reaching speeds of 9.4 meters per second fast enough to earn you a speeding ticket in a school zone. And that size and speed create extraordinary power. Take the scrum for example. At the point of contact, each team can generate up to 16,000 newtons of force, enough to famously rival an F1 car. But now rugby is evolving. Since 2015, the trend of ballooning player size is flatlined, and even 8 of the last 10 Six Nations players of the tournament have been below the average size as the game shifts to be more cerebral, swapping the extra stake dinners for analytics to give them the edge. You see, in the tournament, the head coach isn't even allowed on the sideline. Instead, they sit in the press box as an eye in the sky, communicating with the bench through a headset while assistants analyze GPS data and video in real time using catapult technology. Throughout the game, reserve players on the bench can be sent rapidly processed catapult clips coupled with directional overlays and heat maps directly to their tablets. These highlight gaps in the opposing team's strategy in real time so they can target weaknesses and make an immediate impact when subbed in to finish a game. So while size and speed are still core tenets of the sport, rugby is evolving by adding the brains with data and video as teams play harder and now smarter.